fam, welcome back. Today, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be seeing who the top five richest housewives of New Jersey are. Now, I know these net worths be a little bit off, but I do feel like they give you a good ballpark figure, and it definitely tells you who making the most money. It's a pretty good estimate, so it's not like completely accurate, but I mean, it's a good estimate of like who has the most money and who doesn't. Now, I don't know anything about the Jersey girls. I don't know who got money and who don't. I don't think any, well, I think they have businesses. I don't know. They don't talk about them on the show, so I don't know. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. But if I had to guess, I would guess that Teresa is the richest simply because she's been there the longest. She is the OG. She's been there since season one. I'm sure she makes the most money. That's just my guess, but let's get into it. The Real Housewives franchise is notorious for its beach drama featuring celebrities who flaunt their enormous wealth. Some of the women have worked hard for their money, while others have married into it. However, fans may be astonished to hear who rounds out the top five wealthiest housewives in the New Jersey franchise. Let's take a look at the five wealthiest real housewives in New Jersey and how they made their fortunes. Number five. In fifth place is reality TV star, interior decorator, and entertainer Ida Hantis. I knew she was gonna be there because of Bill. This is partly thanks to her husband, Bill Ivins, successful plastic surgery yep. business. Her salary for her appearance on Bill Housewives of New Jersey also contributed to her sizable number. Number two. Coming in at number two is Carly Manzo. Really? Okay, her husband. Oh! She starred in the Bravo reality shows The Real Housewives of New Jersey. I'm about to say, I know the books. I ain't do that. The top spot among the richest housewives of New Jersey is Margaret Josephs with a mind boggling network of $50 million. Josephs is a diverse company portfolio that contributed to her wealth. She had a profitable business even before the Bravo fans saw her. Wow. The majority of Joseph's fortune stems from a Macbeth collection, clothing and accessory company, which she founded in 1999. Joseph's also launched Candy Couture, which offers makeup and accessories under the Macbeth collection. Mm. Margaret is also a co-host on the podcast of Your Dreams, Luna Fish Budget, with co-host Lexi Barbudo. Wow. I would have never guessed because they don't talk about any of this on the show. You know, they just talk about Teresa and Melissa. I am completely, completely shocked by that. Margaret is worth $50 million. If I was worth $50 million, I would be the happiest person in the world. Why is she so like evil? All that money you got, go be happy. 
Honestly, it's hard for me to believe that. That's that's a lot. I I really don't think she's worth more than Candy. I don't believe that. We don't even know her like that. I'm not denying that she's probably the richest, but 50 million, I think that's a stretch. What's what's Teresa's net worth? Let me see. She probably ain't nowhere near them. I didn't know their net worths were gonna be so high. <laughs> <laughs> man this stuff be confusing man you think people got money and then <laughs> i don't believe it there i don't believe it she has to be a millionaire by now she's been on this show for years she gotta be a millionaire by now i don't believe it well you know what is she still paying the irs back <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Five hundred. I mean, she did have those those issues. She had to file bankruptcy. She had all those tax issues. That she could be building it, but dang, she went to jail a long time ago. Like it should be built by now. <laughs> y'all, let me know what y'all thought about that in the comments down below. Stay happy, healthy, and all of that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>